How to connect an electric guitar to a combo amp. Playing the electric guitar is a fulfilling hobby that requires time, patience, and dedication to master. Amplifiers are the piece of equipment that allows you to make sound with your electric guitar. While many traditional amps come with two pieces of equipment called the head and cabinet, combo amps have both technologies contained in one easy-to-use piece of equipment. One, you can either connect your electric guitar directly to your combo amp or connect it through pedals to get different distortions. Both methods are fairly simple and user-friendly to do. Connecting directly to the amp. Connect the amp's power cord to the wall. Before your amp projects sound, it requires power. First, make sure that your amp switch is in the off position. Then, take the power cord from the back of your combination amp and plug it into a wall socket. Once it's plugged in, flip the power switch to test if its power is on. On many amps, there will be a red or green light designating that there is power running to your amp. If your power cable isn't attached to the back of your amp, you may need to plug it into your amp before plugging it into the wall. If your amp doesn't turn on, switch sockets to see if it is a faulty electrical outlet. If you don't have a faulty electrical outlet and your amp still doesn't turn on, consider taking it to an instrument repair shop to get it examined. Plug your guitar cable into your guitar. You can purchase a guitar cable at most music stores. Guitar cables are typically called instrument cables or a one-quarter cable. These cables have a plug that fits into your input jack on your combination amp and is what allows the guitar to play through the amp's speakers. The guitar's jack should be on the front of the guitar or the edge of the guitar and will look like a metallic socket. Popular guitar cable brands include Planet Waves American Stage Guitar and Instrument Cable, Monster S100i 12 Standard 100 and a quarter inch Instrument Cable, and George L's 155 Gauge Cable, 4. You can also purchase one quarter Instrument Cables online. Turn the volume and gain on the amp down. Turning down the volume and the gain will prevent feedback and will stop you from blowing out your speaker when you plug in your guitar. Plug the other end of the cord into the input jack. Take the other end of your guitar's cable and plug it into the input jack on your amplifier. Turn your amp on and turn the volume and gain up. Adjust the volume and gain knobs on your amp until your guitar reaches a suitable volume. You can test the volume of your guitar by strumming an open string as you adjust the knob on your amp. You can use the knobs on your instrument to reduce gain and volume as you play instead of having to walk over your amp. Test other knobs on your combo amp. Test other knobs on the guitar like bass, mid, and treble knobs. Start these knobs off in the 12 o'clock position to give your guitar a default tone. Then, start to adjust the different knobs and play your guitar until it reaches the sound that you desire. Your combo amp may already have built-in distortions like overdrive. Test the different features of your amp. If your tone isn't thick or full enough, experiment with bringing up your amp's bass knob. If your guitar's tone is too muddy or muffled, consider turning down the bass in the mid while turning up the treble. All amps are different, so there isn't a particular preset that you can use on all amps. <laughs>